I like to talk about a little bit about the crisis we have today in North America and around the world. Looking back at my own background, how my grandparents told me I used to be a proud Indian with my eagle feathers, standing up on top of a tall altar, high up on top of the mountain. Today, they got me on my knees praying for the world because it's, we are so unbalanced. And I want the world to know that I speak from the Indian prophecies of the Karuk tribe, the, the Hupa tribe, the Yurok tribe, the Twalawa tribe, the Shatta tribe, the Pit River, the Wind Tune, right here in Northern California where I'm speaking from. Such a pretty place. We have to work together. My grandma told me, my grandfather told me that whenever you see these things, the drought and things diminishing like the wildlife and the river, the creeks, the timber, and my grandfather told me, Come to these high altars, well, like he used to when he when he grew up to be what he was as a medicine man. We have to go back and, and go back to where it was before. Don't don't take don't take and take and take Indian people. Just take what they need and no more. To balance these things, you've got to have a selective way of doing things, not taking all from our source. It's terrible. And uh, today, I never thought the day I'd buy water. Today, I'm buying water because of the chemicals and uh, all the other things that they they use to to. Um, trying to balance the world in, in their way. I always say nature will balance itself. Please don't bother nature. Nature is something we've got to have. We've got to have the snow. We've got to have the rain. We've got to have the sunshine. We've got to have the all seasons, the autumn. Our sacred mountain here, local Mount Shasta, it, that mountain touches worldwide. It's people for the world that, that mountains work, not just us local people. They don't work that way. What called sacred mountains is sacred mountains. Very spiritual. Long before we were ever here on Mother Earth, that mountain was there for us to use, not to destroy. Palestinian people, we strongly believe that all sacred mountains should be respected, respected in such a way that every religion, every spirituality, every um, prayer form will hit that mountain, and we pick it up. So again, this is where it's all. This is what's all about, and we look at it as a very powerful place. <laughs>